Hello guys, Danny here and welcome to this video. Now it's been a few months since I've uploaded so I am back and I'm hoping to be uploading videos more regularly. Hopefully you enjoy the videos I've got planned coming up over the next few weeks. I'm um, quite varied in sort of content I'll be putting on the channel, um, obviously technology related. So hopefully there's something there for everyone. Now this video is related to this guy here which is the Intel um, Next unit of computing or a NUC as it's called. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail in that in a second. And it's just sort of like a little project I've got going and I thought I may as well make some videos on it. So this whole project is about creating a media centre for the main TV downstairs in the lounge. Now I have used um, various different um, devices to stream media to the TV. Um, I have used PCs in the past similar to this. Um, quick backstory, currently I'm using an Apple TV to mainly watch Netflix and it does a really good job of that. Um, it does do YouTube and stuff but it's not got the best YouTube app. And apart from that, there isn't a lot of content on there for people in the UK. I also use something called a Philips Media Player, which allows me to play uh, video files I've downloaded online. And that works extremely well. It's also got some apps on it, but again, the apps are not that great. There's a YouTube one, but it's really bad, in fact. So I'm using both of them devices at the moment, but they're not really giving me all the content I want because there's a lot of content on the web for free, which you can um, obviously stream. And I'm kind of missing out on that content on the large TV. I've um, got my iMac here where I do watch a lot of content on the iMac and that works great. Um, I just really would like to see that on, on a bigger TV, um, obviously in the lounge. So I decided to go the PC route. Now if you go down to your local retailer and look at the PCs on offer, the desktops, most of the desktops are large devices, desktop towers. And um, you get a few which are a little bit smaller but they're still pretty big. So they're not something you want to sit under your TV because one, you might not be fit there and two, they do look quite ugly. So I was looking for something much smaller and this is where the Intel NUC came into it. So let's take a closer look. So here we have the Intel NUC and off to the side we've also got some accessory and parts because this is a bare bones machine. It doesn't come with everything in the box you'll need to get up and running. You will have to buy some accessories and parts assuming you've already got them laying around. Now there's a number of different versions of the Intel NUC you can get depending on what specs you're looking for and also each year Intel usually brings out a newer version. And um, this is a 2013 model, which is a DC3217BY, which has a Core i3 processor with integrated graphics. Now, if you wonder what processor it is, it's a Core i3-3217U. In the next video, I'll be opening this box up and I'll show you what you get inside and also I'll be building the NUC. Um, just so we're clear in this video, you get the case, the motherboard with the Core i3 processor and integrated graphics. Also, it's worth mentioning it has three USB ports, which are 2.0. If you do want USB 3.0, you will have to get one of the newer models of the NUC. It also has HDMI port, which is perfect for connecting to your large TVs. And it also has a Thunderbolt display port, which could be handy for some people. So what I did have to pick up along with that was some RAM. I've gone for an eight gigabyte stick. Um, it should be enough for like a media center. I'm not gonna be doing too much gaming or video editing on it. It's mainly just for streaming HD video. So eight gigabytes should be more than enough and I've gone for Integral brand. Now I did want Crucial Memory, but Integral, I've heard of this brand, so I've went for that and hopefully it'll work out fine. I've also picked up an SSD drive for storage, which is just 128 gigabytes. With me just streaming uh, most of the content from the web or from my NAS, I don't really need much storage. So this is more than enough and hopefully it'll be quite fast. So it'll give me good performance. So they're kind of the two main things you will need along with a plug. Unfortunately, it comes with a power brick but it doesn't come with a plug, so I picked up a plug, a um, couple of quid for that, so no uh, major there, but shame it didn't come in the box. Most NUCs do come with Ethernet, so you can have a wired connection. Unfortunately, this model I went for doesn't have Ethernet, so I won't be able to have a wired connection um, straight out of the box, unfortunately. The um, reason I went for this, though, even though it didn't have Ethernet, which I did want, it was a really good price, and it also had the Core i3 processor, which was pretty good. So I think I can live without Ethernet. So what I did have to purchase, which was quite cheap, I think it was around £15, and it's this Intel wireless card, so this will give me Wi-Fi, and also I believe it does Bluetooth as well. Um, I will put links in the description below for more information on these items, just in case you want to know more about them. I also picked up this USB Ethernet adapter, so we can have a wired connection through USB. Not sure how good these are. Um, but I thought I'd just give it a go because this was quite cheap as well. Hit around £15, maybe cheaper. So hopefully that will work out fine. In terms of software, we've gone for the Windows 8.1 operating system to run on the machine. 
Now, I was close to going for Linux just because it's, it's cheap, it's free, and also Linux would be more than capable enough for a media center, but I decided for Windows 8.1 just because having a Windows machine in the household. So gave that a go, but Linux would have been more than good enough if you want to save some money, in my opinion. And finally, we're going to need to make the control the nook. So I've gone for the Logitech K400 wireless touch keyboard. I've um, gone for this for a few reasons. One, I like the Logitech brand. I think they do decent uh, products. And also, it's got the touchpad built into the keyboard, so it's nice and compact, which would be a great way to control a media center connected to the TV, just like in this image here, in fact. So I'll let you know how I get on with that, and I'll let you know how I get on with Windows and so on once we've built the machine. So there'll probably be quite a few videos in this series. The next video is obviously going to be me building the Nook, as I said earlier. So hopefully you're going to enjoy this series of videos, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.